complacent. Complacency is very, very, I would say dangerous to us as humans and as content creators. And it was something that was told to us before we were on the deployment for our very first time to not get complacent. Keep your head on the swivel. Don't get so relaxed just because, you know, we're going to a safer, I would say part of, I would say the area of deployment. It's still possible for something to happen. And that's something that I learned about while I was over there that, yeah, stuff can happen. So why am I telling people who are not, you know, military personnel? And yes, it can be equated to civilian sector as far as, you know, not knowing what's going on around you or anything like that to always keep your head on a swivel. That is the complacency that I'm talking about. That's dangerous. Um, when it comes to content creation, though, it's kind of a little bit different, but it will still apply. Let me explain. A lot of us who are content creators have the habit of being complacent in the fact of we're constantly looking at YouTube videos on or just videos in general, asking people and stuff about how to make it as a content creator, how to get the views, how to get uh, into learning and understanding the algorithm, how to get the algorithm to work for you, depending on whatever platform you're uploading to um, or putting your content on. And you should put your content on all platforms, as people say, or wherever, who have more viewership or more of a following than us. That's what they're telling us. And we just become complacent in the fact of, hey, this is just what you're supposed to do. This is just the norm. I'm just going to do it or whatever, because, hey, you know, that's what everybody else does. So why not be complacent and uh, be complacent in the fact of, uh, hey, this is just what we do. And when you tell people not to do that or wherever, and even if you try to give them the reasoning behind it and back it up with substantial proof and evidence, they tend to ignore you because again apparently viewership and apparently a following and, and numbers and stuff equate to the actual worth of a content creator the actual worth of their actual um i would say content in general their advice everything like that look at how many times you've looked at somebody who ended up following you on some social media platform and you clicked on their profile to see who they were and you look how many times have you looked immediately at their following or their viewership or when you look to find a new streamer how many people you say, think on average look at first how many people are in the live stream and equating to that to them being a good streamer how many times have we not actually looked at the person's characteristics their personality their demeanor are they faking their personality are they faking it on stream or whatever is that person really like that or is that person hiding something devious behind the facade that they're ex presenting to their viewership or their fan base or the subscriber base whether it be on youtube or some kind of live streaming platform look at it look are these is this person constantly starting drama and stuff like that is this person constantly trying to be in the spotlight what are they doing or whatever as a content creator that's actually adding value to the space these questions and stuff never come up but yet those content creators are constantly coming out of people's mouth. And I'm not saying that you should profile every single person or wherever that you watch or wherever or every single uh, content creator out there. But the ones that you take information from, you should definitely be doing that because they have the viewership and everything. And these people who are following them and liking their content and stuff like that are not even aware of that person's true nature. Yet these people are the ones that are telling you to sit there and upload to every single platform, follow the algorithms, follow all this stuff. And you're just being complacent. I'll just do that because, you know, this person gets X amount of views per video. This person gets X amount of views on the live stream. They have X amount of followers. They obviously know what they're doing. Right. So in order to be like them, I'll go ahead and sit there and, you know, do what they say. And they'll tell you, hey, use your cell phone use a logitech c920 these people because they're having a little bit more money a little bit more income and stuff like that they're able to pay for certain things that you yourself might not be able to pay for or seem logical for you to even invest in they have invested in nine times out of ten these people already have cameras they have full frame cameras they're even above me i don't use full frame cameras i use APS-C cameras which are cheaper because that's more conducive to my workflow and what i'm doing as a content creator i don't need to be paying a thousand dollars for a lens and two thousand dollars for a camera i don't need to do that but five hundred dollars for the sony zv e10 that i'm using right now three hundred dollars or whatever for the sigma lens that i'm using right now 
these are purchases that you should be making as a content creator, not listening to somebody telling you to use your cell phone and, and telling you to, hey, go ahead and use your Logitech C920. That's 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 good enough. People won't save up for this stuff. They'll just be like, oh, I can ignore it. I have a C920. I'll just be complacent. I'll just be happy. I'll just be content. That's what's holding you back as a content creator is the complacency of, hey, listen to everybody else because they've been in the industry forever. You know, they've been in the game in a long time. They've had the numbers and the views and all that stuff. The times have changed. It's not the same as it was 10 years ago where that content creator that you're listening to that's giving you the bad advice, they've been around since then. Nine times out of 10, by that point that they're talking about nowadays, they either have a team or they hired somebody else to fulfill a role so they're out of the loop on what it takes to be a content creator nowadays. And those who are solo content creators who've been doing it the whole entire time, nine times out of 10, what I have found based off of my research and watching these people that people keep on suggesting and talking about when it comes to these topics, these people are people who are doing the knee jerk reaction type content creator. They're posting stuff or wherever that's kind of, uh, I would say controversial or wherever that's giving them exposure as a content creator. That's giving them views, that's giving them interactions, impressions and all that stuff. Their impression farming and these are the type of content creators that you're listening to telling you to hey post on every single media platform and, and fake it and and put the text on screen and do all this extra mr beast overhyped editing and all that stuff like that you're doing all this you're running yourself ragged as a person and that's just not you you're not that type of person you're unique every individual on this planet is unique Stop conforming into what you're supposed to be doing as a content creator by these people that you probably shouldn't even be taking information from. You have to be careful on what you're intaking into your body, what information you're getting on. Like when you're back in the day and you had to cite your sources or wherever, you have to you have to be very, very careful very very careful because you could you would very quickly in the day and age of content creation now become complacent and just be like hey this is just what we're supposed to do this is just what a content creator is supposed to do I'm telling you it's very very important not to do that because you're going to be a detriment to your own content creation career with that being said hopefully you guys have a squid-tastic day Hopefully this information helped out somebody out there. I know there's going to be people that disagree with what I said in this video. It's it's fine. It's OK. Doesn't bother me at all. But I'm just trying to put the information out there that you got to be watchful. Don't be complacent.